Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept R cross C integer matrix from the user, then the program must sort the rows of the matrix based on the last integer of each row and we have also given a note that if two rows having two or more rows having same last integer then it must be sorted based on their order of occurrence. So first we are getting the R crossing integer matrix, then the program has sort the rows of the matrix based on the last integer of each row. Then the you notice if two or more rows have same last integer, then it must be sorted in their order of occurrence. Now let us take our first case. Here we have phi cross phi integer matrix. So phi is the least last integer among all the rows. So we will have this row first. Then after phi we will have 16. So we will have this row. Then after 16 we will have 30. So we will have this row. Then after 30 it is 44. So we'll have this row, then after 44, it is 47. So we'll have this row. So now we have sorted the rows of the matrix based on the last integer of each row. So this will be our output. Now consider our second test case. So here we have three cross four matrix. So the least number in the large last integer of the row, here it is 1. So we'll have this row first. Then after that we have 2 occurring in 2 rows. So we'll sort them based on their order of occurrence. So this will be our final output. Let us implement our program. First we will get the number of rows and columns from the user. Then we will get our matrix using list comprehension. Now we have to sort our matrix based on the last integer of each row so we'll sort them we we'll use the key function equal to lambda the parameter is row and the return type is row minus one that is the last integer now if you want to know more about lambda function check out our python function series video the link is given in description so after that at last we will print asterisk row. So now let us execute our program. First we will pass our first test case. We have got the correct output. As you see the matrix have been sorted. 
then we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output so the last integer is same for two rows so they are sorted based on their order of occurrence our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video